Mysterious virus striking children across this country, spreading now at lightning speed and this evening an urgent new concern paralysis. We go back to the map here three weeks ago, 11 states tonight, 46 states and this evening now at least seven of those states where children are experiencing paralysis. The CDC is now investigating a possible link and the most troubling question of all, does the paralysis go away? ABC's Lindsay Davis tonight with the doctors witnessing this and what to look for. Just 11 years old, too weak to speak, Brian Sotelo is fighting for his life tonight. When he uh, got sick, I never think about that he's going to be like that. His right arm so weak, he can barely lift it. Doctors at his Dallas hospital concerned it's a symptom of enterovirus 68. Back in late July, Brian went to the hospital with a cold and flu-like symptoms. He was sent home. Just days later, returning to the ER, much worse this time. He's been admitted ever since. After testing positive for enterovirus, Brian and his family now waiting for test results to see if it's in fact EVD-68, that particular strain linked to four deaths and spreading around the country. Doctors still probing the connection between the virus and those paralysis-like symptoms, but more and more states are now reporting a total of at least 28 cases. This Michigan hospital hospital alone treating seven children from infants to seven year olds. We're concerned that these new cases of limb weakness or arm and leg weakness do have to do with enterovirus. It's too early to say whether these kids will be okay in the long run, meaning whether they'll get all their strength back. And Lindsay's with us now. This is going to frighten a lot of parents out there now more than a half dozen states with these cases of paralysis and they're investigating the link. But Lindsay, what are doctors telling you that parents should look for tonight? Well, David, as you know, this is a season of colds, but if that cold turns into a breathing problem, you want to get your child into the ER. If they're experiencing any kind of limb weakness, get them in there right away.